A blessed day to you all my sports to the bone people Welcome back, welcome back to another video And in this one I just want to talk to you all a little bit about West Indies Cricket So we recently got an opportunity to see a multi farmer tour against South Africa So we now have a fair idea of what the T20 team is going on with the ODI team and the test team so I just want to take a look at a couple of things that we probably would have learned or we would have identified coming out of that tour of um, South Africa didn't get a chance to go in depth with the analysis because of the four-day regional tournament now the four-day regional tournament is finished we are also going to talk a little bit about that because we would have seen a couple of players um, putting their hands up to you know, signal to the selectors that they want an opportunity to go out there and, 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 and showcase their talent at the international level. Right? Um, so, some of the main things, well, even before we go down into that, we, we are now in April. And just to remind you, a couple of weeks ago, the director of Cricket West Indies, Jimmy Adams, had indicated that early April, we are going to see the appointment of a, a, a head coach, right? So changes, we are expecting changes. The early part of April can be the first two weeks or, or, or so. Anything after that is, 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 is mid-April and, and I, I go, I going down the line to, to late April. So just wanted to remind you all that the, the, the appointment should be coming soon. Now, we would have seen the, 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 the elections out of the way also for, for CWI presidency. So that shouldn't be a problem either. You know, um, yeah, so we, 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 we're going to go into it. So the test team, let us start off with this test team first. Right? And the number, based on my view, the number three and uh, whether you want to say four or five slots. Depending on where you're going to bat Jermaine Blackwood because Blackwood stays in the team But the number three four or five slots, you know, those slots definitely need to be filled And when I say filled, I'm talking about filled properly with proper batsmen That is the only way to win games Test cricket, you cannot have a test team your number three four and five um, not, 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 not performing well, if you have Blackwood, let up batting at, at Carly, say we have him batting at four. Then number three and, and, and five, you, you, you need two batsmen that are going to score runs often. You understand? You, you, you need an openers to do a job for you, but more often than that, you're going to lose an opener or so pretty early, depending on the conditions. But you cannot have a team where you don't know what you're going to get from your number three. Because if he fails, you're going to say, well, you know, it's a bowling all round and we're trying to turn him in a, in, a, in a batting specialist. You understand? Don't get me wrong, you know, Raymond Reefer, I will be the first to tell you that Raymond Reefer work for, the, for, 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 um, for, for that spot there. You understand? They selected him based on the fact that he would have outperformed, you know, the so-called number three players in the last um, for the original tournament if my memory serves me right not this one that just concluded so he would have worked for that spot you understand so I I don't have anything against him I, I don't knock him I, I'm not knocking him but at the same time he cannot really and truly say that he, he, he would have claimed that spot based on, 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 on how he would have performed um, against South Africa he, I think he had a 70 or, or a half century or something like that but you still need you still need specialist players in in those areas i i think number three and and, and four if we're going back blackwood at five so we definitely need the, the the most important part of the of the of the batting lineup well some will say the the, the openers are the most important because they go to assess the condition and see off the new ball and all of that but the, the the bulk of the batting should come from the top order top to middle order your number three four and five you know, so we are missing, we are missing, um, we are missing that. So, as I said, not knocking Raymond Reefer, but we need, we need, we need two people in. And two names, one name that, 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 that we hear coming up a lot is Alec Arthanes. You understand, Casey Carty's name was being called a lot before the 4 day regional tournament. But, unfortunately, he didn't do much. You understand, he didn't do much to really claim, claim a, a stake there. Um... 
the same can be said as a, you know for, for, for some of the bowlers you know um <clears throat> I, I don't know the all format player rest and chase he needs to be removed from the team I'm not fighting against a man as I said it's my opinion having watched the teams I, I don't see why, why I don't see where he's needed there for the test team you're going to hear my viewpoint for the ODI and T20 but for the test team Rastan Chase need to be removed you understand he's been selected as a as a bowling all around the base and, and, and Desmond Haynes and we couldn't depend on, depend on him with the ball couldn't depend on him with the bat so he needs to be removed from the test team that 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 is one that is one problem in the team we need to remove him that is adding another all rounder that is not necessary we already have J we already have the battle to select between Jason Holder and Kyle Mears well some will say there is no competition there but they need to remove Rastan Chase from the from the test team it is as simple as that i wouldn't even beat around any bush or anything the man need to be removed from the team you understand um where the test team is concerned now the bowling the bowling um it didn't show a lot of a bite need some more bite and i'm not sure if we're gonna have that right now because Jaden seals is out injured not sure if he's gonna be back for india tour um kima roach you understand he's not the youngest so if we are in the caribbean he's probably going to play um shannon gabriel is a, is a probably still the fastest bowler in the in the in the region alongside alzari joseph but we would have seen him in the four day tournament for um trinidad and tobago bold was bowling pretty quickly but he wasn't effective he wasn't as effective as we would want you understand so um he i'm not too sure and we have mostly medium pacers coming through the, we don't have anybody bowling any 140s 140 142 we probably have a couple of people hitting mid 130s so i don't know we're going to find it with with find find some bowlers you understand but um that is something that we would have identified in south africa that we need that we need a, a, another couple of good pacers to to partner up with um azari joseph even if we find a couple of pacers i don't know if the selectors are going to be willing to select um the pacers along with a spinner or they are going to continue having three uh, medium pacers in the team because they already have um kyle mears is there Jason Hola is, is, is there and Raymond Reef as I said batting at number three but you know their fallback will always be that they can they can use him to bowl a couple of overs your number three batsman you should be saying that your number three batsman if you want to buy a wicket you can probably give him the ball if he bowls a little bit but it shouldn't be a case where you can use the bowling as a reason why the number three batsman is in the team after he's not um, Jack Callis nor, 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 nor Ben Stokes you know where, where you can, where guys that can make the team either by batting or bowling so those are, are some of the things that we see need to be sorted out in the test team um, the, 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 the next thing if we are going on, on, on tour in the subcontinent we need, a, we need another spinner you know um, Goody Kishmoti obviously is our frontline spinner they need to stop the foolishness about this foolishness of selecting Rastan Chase and talking about he, he, he can bat spin, he will be able to bat spin. He's in the team as a frontline spinner and he's not doing that job. So they need to take him out of the team. Rakim Carnwall, many, many people say that he's not, he, he cannot chase a ball, he cannot um, feel a ball. I understand that. But if that is the reason they're going to use to keep him out of the team, the, 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 I have two better reasons to keep Chase out of the team. He, he's not going to make any runs and he's not taking any wickets. So find somebody else. They find, they find a clear reason to keep out Rakim Carnwall. I just gave them two reasons why Chase should not be in the test team. Um, if he comes back and, and, and performs well in, 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 the, in the local scene and the local scene, then you, you know who I am. He, give him, by all means, give him back another, another opportunity. Um, the ODI team now, same thing, take Chase out of the team. That is the first thing. I don't need to explain it. Take him out of the team. You understand? Um, we probably need, need to take a long, hard look at um, Shamar Brooks batting at number three also. I am not going after the Barbadians, you know. So the Barbadians in the, in the, in the comment section don't think that I am going after you guys why I am calling out Brooks and Chase. But um, Brooks, even before this tour, would have shown that, you know, 
you can depend on him you can depend on him every now and again but we need to take a long hard look at the the, the, the present and the future and think whether or not he's the solution you understand um i don't know if cwi is thinking about it because as i said they had the perfect opportunity to name somebody like a alec arthur is in the odi squad the other day even if he didn't make the test squad should have made the odi squad they didn't they didn't do that um next thing uh she hope we need to decide we need to decide what's going on with she hope you understand um she hope said that once you can bat, you can bat anywhere, whether it's opening or, or, or three or four. But we need to be, we need, we, 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 that is one thing we can do. We can't be caught in two minds with somebody like a She hope. We need to, we need to quickly decide if he's going to bat at, at four or five. At four or opening. You understand? Um, we are moving chess pieces around to make sure that the team um, fits together. But anything that is being moved around in the ODI team, shouldn't be benefiting the rest of the well not say it shouldn't be benefiting the rest of the team but you shouldn't be taking anything away from she hope not saying that him batting at four will take anything away from him you know you want the team to work but you, you can't compromise hope any at all t20 same thing take rest and chase away from from anywhere close to the t20 team i mean he was he was he was placed there as, as a replacement because his squad was already there in South Africa. I understand that. But take him out of the team. Yeah, man. Take, take him away from the team. Don't put him anywhere close to his squad. Um, just, there's not a lot of things to hammer down on the T20 squad. It, it, it looked a little okay. We just need to start the bowling out. You understand? Start the bowling out. Uh, Azar Joseph seem as if he's turning into a very good um, um, final over bowler final um, death bowler there so you know he's doing his thing um we still need to 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 to, to figure things out where Romario Shepard and Odin Smith is concerned where they're bowling um Romario Shepard would have shown that he's the man for the back end with the bat but when it comes on to the bowling we, we probably need to um get that started out um I'm not sure what's going on with Dominic Drake's don't see him playing much cricket. Don't know if he's injured. He's one of those players that we were probably grooming to, to come and play some of, of, of that style of cricket for us. Um, Obed Mackay, as you know, injured. You know, I, I don't know if we can continue with somebody. I, I don't say where I, I, I'm not saying we're throwing Odin Smith away. You know, his pace is good, yes, but when you have him and Romario Shepard in the team, yeah, and and you're expecting both of them to bowl four overs. One of them will have to bowl a couple of overs in the death overs uh, in the death, and I'm not too sure if I'm ready to give any of them. You understand? So the T20 team needs um, just the bowling. We're really worried about the batting. I think will click when one once once everything is together. The, the bowling needs to, to to be started out. And just before we go, um, this is a pretty long one, huh? Just before we go, so we are now in April, and the CWI director Jimmy Adams had indicated that by early April we are going to hear the announcement for the for, for, for the coaching right so gonna continue to keep our ears peeled we are none the wiser who is going to take over I doubt they are going to appoint um Andre Coley um for, 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 for this thing here if they were planning to appoint him I am thinking that they would have sent other people there to support him people that would be on his staff you would realize that Jimmy Adams had to had to go over there and be batting coach. So I doubt they are going to appoint him. So, you know, I think they are still working on, on, on things in the background. So we're we'll going to continue to keep a close eye on, on this, my peeps. And um, just to let you know, later on this evening, if we are going to be live, it's probably going to be earlier. So if we are going to do the live show, I will post a video leading up to that time. But... If we're going to go live, it's not going to be 6 today, right? Um, and, and this message is for the, for the regular viewers. So it's not going to, you know, we go live every Sunday. So if we're going to be live, it's not going to be for 6. It's probably going to be something like um, 4 o'clock or somewhere there about pretty early, right? Have some other business that I need to take care of. Big up on yourself.